Torres, and I spent a total of three years in solitary confinement, and it's still very much just like this. I remember taking both of my hands and stretching them out wide um, to kind of measure myself. You know, as you can see, there's nothing here but a toilet. Um, there's a bed, you know, I'm, I'm six feet tall, so when I used to lay here, my, my feet used to hang off, used to hang off the cell, uh, excuse me, hang, hang off, hang off the bed. Um, and I came out, and I'm okay, you know, uh, practically speaking, but unfortunately, this is not the reality for about 5,000 people that are currently incarcerated inside of these human cages. And this is why it's important for legislators to pass the Hall Act and sponsor the Hall Act, which is going to create alternative solutions for um, solitary confinement as we know it in three distinct ways. One, it limits the amount of time that people will spend in solitary confinement down to 15 days, bringing it in line with the new end repertoire on torture. Number two, it limits the number of people, the, the classes of people that are in there. So people who are developmentally disabled, um, teenagers, 16 year olds, you know, people who um, are mentally ill, people who uh, are part of the LGBTQ community. We really don't want these folks there. You know, and then lastly, it creates an alternative uh, in residential rehabilitation units, which gives people an, an, an alternative to solitary where they receive more out of cell time, programming, anger management if they need it. You know, and they receive the proper program to help them assimilate themselves into society. So again, um, call your legislator and let them know that you no longer want to support solitary and it's just sign on to the Hall Act. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.